British Ceramics Confederation is a really useful group for members of parliament and MEPs too to keep us up to date with the issues affecting the ceramics industry, skills, energy, training. What I really value about the BCC is its ability to work across parties. So we will raise in Parliament issues affecting the ceramics industry and seek questions from ministers on that. It was great that the Chancellor of the Exchequer referenced the work of the BCC in the tax break we secured in 2013. I also really value uh, the work the BCC does with the Trade Unions Congress, with local trade unions, to make sure that we've got a united front when we're talking about the ceramics sector. How is the BCC helping the industry to become sustainable? Really by leading the conversation on issues like the energy intensive uh, sector, on issues like skills uh, and training, to provide us parliamentarians with the up-to-date information so that we've got a globally competitive, sustainable ceramics industry working out of the UK. BCC supports us in Europe by being the lead body that works within the European Federation, Ceram Uni. And from a personal point of view, uh, I've been involved in the tableware sector and it's given me the opportunity to input into a number of issues that are important for us all, not only in the UK but right across Europe. We've also been working through BCC on the issue of import tariffs. Uh, again, hugely important. Uh, as an example for our own product, we have a tariff against us of 25% going into the USA. To fight that barrier, is much easier if we can do it in partnership with our trade bodies both here in the UK and in Europe. The BCC helps us become more sustainable in a number of ways, particularly as a business we've been working with our glaze suppliers to address the whole um, reduction of energy through lowering the firing temperature. The net result of that is that we've been able to produce a product that has a carbon footprint of some 20%, just 20% of the equivalent product made in other locations around the world. BCC have been hugely help, helpful to us in sharing that message, particularly with the regulators on energy and sustainability. It would be very difficult for any individual company to represent its interests directly into mainland Europe. However, the BCC provides effective leadership, clear coordination and strategies to benefit the UK ceramic sector. The strong and proactive approach provided by the BCC means that member companies are at the forefront of shaping policy and objectives within Europe. The UK ceramics industry faces many challenges both in the UK and overseas, including things such as trade issues, energy security and pricing, and EU regulatory impacts. So the relationship with the BCC has always been one of mutual trust. They've always been available to provide advice and guidance and if they don't know the answer, they're always willing to go away and find the answer. And that's very valuable for a volume manufacturer such as Denby. One example of the way the BCC has helped, especially on the leadership within Europe, is a new European regulation that was proposed back in 2013 to effectively limit the release of various elements within tableware. This would have impacted negatively against the whole UK and world ceramics industry because basically we wouldn't have been able to meet the limits that they were proposing. The BCC have provided effective leadership and coordination and we've led Europe through the whole process of trying to fight that punitive legislation. BCC has gained us access to a range of regulators, MPs and MEPs and supported us by attending meetings on our own sites. Working as a team to provide detailed briefings that really illustrate the issues that we as a company and as brick and roof tile makers have to face. These affect the whole ceramics industry whether the issues are health and safety, energy, skills, innovation, or sustainability. The work that goes on behind the scenes really helps to bring these issues to life and influence the thoughts of regulators and politicians. It makes the regulators and the politicians more inclined to act. Please help BCC to engage in this way and join them for the benefits of the ceramic sector as a whole. BCC has worked together with us collectively as brickmakers to develop targets and indicators for sustainability. This work has really helped us develop our green credentials with regulators and ministers and of course also with our customer base. 
As a recent graduate, I came in contact with the BCC when I met Laura Cohen of the BCC at the Department for Business Skills and Manufacturing Summit last year. She helped us get the most out of our stand presence by inviting over the Trade Minister and the Permanent Secretary. Since then, the BCC has been part of the Morgan Advanced Materials Graduate Leadership Programme. She attended our first year review and also uh, attended the induction, speaking to 30 new graduates on their introduction to the company, sharing ideas about best practices across the industry. It's important for Royal Stafford to be a member of the BCC because we're a very small team. There's a lot of responsibility, a lot of work to do. A really good example of how the BCC helped us was with South Korea. The government did some negotiations with the South Korean government to get the duty reduced and the taxes on goods going into South Korea. Uh, it was necessary for the exporter, that's us, Royal Stafford, to, to get a number from the government as an approved exporter. So we filled in the forms and we waited and we waited and our man in South Korea was getting impatient. So we contacted the BCC and explained the situation and it was marvellous. Then about 10 days later, by magic, we got our number. We're long established members of BCC and uh, I believe that our business gains a massive benefit from BCC. Some examples would be uh, achieving carbon leakage status uh, a few years ago which has uh, you know, improved our position uh, and actually been financially very valuable for us. Another recent example would be um, the uh, under climate change agreements, the um, uh, mineralogical transformation allowances we received uh, which is worth a great deal of money to the company. If you look at our BCC subscriptions over the last 10 years and you roll them all up the savings from BCC are multiples of that so from a business point of view it's been very very valuable for us. The lobbying that's uh, undertaken on behalf of our business and the um, the clay industry is really first rate. So examples would be uh, energy storage, insufficient energy storage, volatility in prices arising from that, and also generally making government aware of the, the costs in our industry from uh, environmental taxes on electricity and so on. We were in negotiation with the Carbon Trust to try and organise an interest-free loan for, uh, to, to improve the efficiency of three of our kilns by installing heat exchangers. Uh, the rules change virtually overnight and uh, it looked as if the funding would dry up from the, uh, from the Carbon Trust but the BCC stepped in and were able to use their contacts uh, and got that funding stream back in, in place for us so that we could actually get the project underway. Uh, the BCC really do try to help small companies as well as large ones. The BCC is very active and very influential in Europe. As a board member and latterly as president, I've been able to address and visit the European Parliament Ceramics Forum, meeting key MEPs and members of the Commission. We decided to join the BCC for a number of reasons, uh, in particular the, uh, the rebate they've negotiated on climate change levy made a big difference and more than offsets the fees that we pay and in addition we get the support and advice in other areas such as employment, health and safety and environmental legislation that make a big difference to us as a small company. Vulcan joined the BCC's Health and Safety Policy Committee approximately two years ago where we share good ideas among, amongst other BCC companies, the health and safety executive and unions. Since then Vulcan has led a campaign at work to improve our safety standards at work and have significantly reduced our accident rate. We've also shared our experience with other BCC members at the annual Health and Safety Pledge Conference receiving a special mention by the Health and Safety Executive. As a small company, the BCC have helped us push the boundaries of what we can achieve in safety. BCC has taken a very uh, inclusive approach to uh, working with all of its members to uh, reduce the accident rate, not only its members but also involving employees and HSE, and they have made a, a remarkable change in reducing the accident rate by more than half. It's great to see the way they've involved small businesses and the way in which they have shared good practice. I've attended two of their conferences, other board members have been to other conferences and they really do stand out as events that include everyone and share good practice. The 
PCC has helped to organise the Structural Defects Seminar today, bringing us to meet academics in the UK and people with access to government funding all under one roof. PCC supported us as a small company to take part in a Europe-wide project to reduce defects in ceramics. PCC provides me with a regular newsletter highlighting information relevant for me on funding, innovation and export opportunities. Today's event on defect reduction in ceramics has been made possible by BCC and that enables academics like me to interact with industrialists and together we might be able to work out a solution to our problems. For me it's a business decision that the BCC is very valuable to us and helps increase the profitability of our business. Without the work that BCC did in conjunction with our European partners we probably wouldn't be able to sell in Europe at this moment. It's really good to know that behind us we've got the BCC watching our backs. They give us a big voice and that's what the BCC is, is to me, a big voice.